James D. Burbaker, producer on the Right Stuff Rocky movies, has died at the age of 85. He was an American film producer and production manager associated with Chart of Winkler production for several years. He had producing credits on several of the company's productions, including two films in the Rocky series as well as True Confessions on the Right Stuff. He later served as president of physical production at Universal Pictures from 2003 to 2008. Brubaker produced three movies with Eddie Murphy, The Nutty Professor, The Clumps and Life in which he had a cameo appearance as the judge. Vadim Abdrashiyov, a Russian famous director, has died at the age of 78. He was internationally renowned as one of the Russia's cinema's most notable independent directors with awards from Berlin and Wins Film Festivals. And he was also a People's Artist of Russia. In his early life, he was so impressed with the space flight of the first Russian cosmonaut that he left his parents and moved to Moscow to study nuclear physics at the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. Actor and singer Cody Longo has passed away at the age of 34. Longo was best known for his roles in the family drama Hollywood Heights and long-running soap opera Days of Our Life. He was also a singer with several singles that made the iTunes pop and top 100 charts. Longo's career began on the stage and then he appeared in several films including Bring It On and the 2009 remake of Fame. In 2011, he got his big break with a recurring role in Days of Our Lives and later starred in Nick at Night's Hollywood Heights. Unfortunately, Longo had several legal troubles including an assault charge with domestic violence charges. Longo's representative cited accidental alcohol poisoning as the likely cause of his death. Thunderblood Charlie Norris, a Chippewa wrestler who made it to the World Championship Wrestling, has passed away at the age of 59. Norris was born on October October 21, 1963 in Red Lake, Minnesota and went to Red Lake Senior High School. By the time Eddie Sharkey had finished training him, Norris had filled out into 6'6 six to 98 wrestler. He debuted in December 1988 and later went to Brad Renegans for further schooling. Norris had a tryout with WWF in 1991 which did not work out as Joe Scrapa, an Italian from New Jersey who had wrestled as Chief J. Strongbow wanted him to change his gimmick. He eventually debuted in WCW in August 1993 and was a mid-carder during his run there. In early 1994, Norris abruptly left WCW and went to the independent scene around Minneapolis. Norris appeared on a couple of podcasts over the last few years discussing his career. His partner on the indie scene, Sam Houston, posted on Facebook after Norris death, the cause of his death is unknown. US actress and model Raquel Welch has passed away at the age of 82. Welch was widely remembered for her iconic roles in the Hollywood films and often credited with paving the way for modern action heroines. She died peacefully on Wednesday morning after a brief illness according to her manager. Welch became an international symbol in the 1960s, winning a Golden Globe for her role in 1974's The Three Musketeers. Despite her public image, she long expressed discomfort with the representation of her body. In a career spanning over five decades, Welch appeared in more than 30 movies and 50 television shows, leaving behind a legacy of powerful female characters. Welch was a Lajula beauty queen turned single mom, but to the world she was an exotic actor whose smoldering looks and curvy figure suited the mood of swinging 1960s. She was rarely taken as seriously as she took her herself. And though she profoundly refused to do nude scenes, her fame was always tied directly to her sexuality, a fate she accepted with regret.